You know, you yourself have been, um, because we are talking about uh, political cases in nature, and there have been quite a few of the recent past, but uh, where, you know, personally, where I've seen your own, uh, you know, judgments, you've been a big votary of personal liberty. You've given some massive decisions when it comes down to bail. Um, there are a lot of cases in court today where bail, where political parties, political leaders are in question. Uh, do you see the denial of bail at a constant, it seems to be the first line. What's your opinion so on I that? I feel there is a problem. There is a problem. problem. The problem is that we can't substitute custody period uh, for a conviction. It can't be that we may or may not get a conviction, but let's keep the person behind bars. So uh, the, the whole object of uh, taking a person into custody is to prepare at that time the case within the legal parameters. I'm talking simplistically. So that uh, the person doesn't, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, you get all the material for prosecution necessary. You do not, uh, the person doesn't try to influence the trial and such other established uh, practices. But this can't be a prolonged affair. If the trial goes on, then the person must get bail. Uh, you are depriving his right. Tomorrow you don't get a conviction. How do you compensate him for the period he is in custody? So this whole culture that uh, of a change from... Uh, of a bail and not the jail was the rule. Mm -hmm. Are we evolving? I'm putting a question to myself. That the jail is the rule, the bail is an exception. I don't believe that's the correct position. So, Justice Paul, it is disconcerting for you that right from the lower court to the top court, uh, their denial of bail is the rule of thumb, at least with what we are seeing now. I am troubled by the way the bail jurisprudence is being handled. I You're am undoubtedly troubled, troubled by it. I don't know why the signals we have sent through various judgments still have not gone down to what we are expected it to be. Um, I, I can only hope that the courts realize, I, I, in, uh, in judicial academies when I used to lecture at times, I used to tell them that if you think that giving dishonestly a bail is wrong, denying a bail is intellectual dishonesty if you feel the man deserves bail.